Hello there, and welcome to another Dark Souls 2 boss tutorial. Today's boss is the Skeleton Lords. The Skeleton Lords are three friends that moved in together after their heavy metal band didn't work out. They live in this here interestingly decorated room, and a lot of their buddies live underneath the floor. That is, their buddies are the floor. When you first come into the room, you're going to see the Skeleton Lords come down off their chairs. You're going to notice that each one of them is holding a different weapon. One of them has a halberd, one of them has a scythe, and the other one has a staff. One thing that they all have in common is they can all shoot fireballs at you, and they will too. After you kill a skeleton lord, they're going to spawn extra skeletons from the floor. Now depending upon which one of them it is you kill, different ones of the buddies are going to come up. If you kill the one with the scythe, they're going to spawn skeletons holding s docks. If you kill the one with the halberd, falchion skeletons are going to come up. And if you kill the staff one, well, they're going to summon the bone wheel skeletons that you might remember from Dark Souls 1. They're the guys with the wheels made of spikes on their back and they're riding them up and down the room trying to kill you. Yeah, you remember them, don't you? Now, there are two ways of thought of going about this fight. There's the way I did it a couple of times I came through here, and then there's what you might consider to be the correct way. The way I did it is to immediately kill all three of the skeleton lords and let all the skeletons spawn from the floor at the same time. The reason I like to do it this way is because I don't like to have to worry about dodging fireballs. The downside to this, however, is that all the skeletons come up at the same time, and I mean to tell you, there are a lot of them. However, the only ones that are actually going to really give you any trouble are the bone wheel skeletons. Trying to fight them and dodge the rest of the skeleton mobs can be quite a difficult task. However, if you keep an eye on them real carefully and just make sure your shield is always facing them and really go out of your way to kill the bone wheel skeletons after that, it's pretty much just backing up and swinging your sword. And if you got a big two-handed weapon, well, then you're going to be able to kill pretty much all of them in one good swing anyhow. Generally, the safer way to do it is to kill the skeleton lords one at a time and then run around killing the skeletons as they spawn from the floor. Now, depending on how scared you are of the bone wheel skeletons, which honestly are the hardest part of this whole fight, you might want to get them out of the way first or save them for last. So if you kill it, scythe, halberd, then staff, you fight the bone wheel skeletons when there's nobody else in the room. But, if you kill the Staff Lord first, then you're going to have to fight Bone Wheel Skeletons while they're shooting fireballs at you. So you might want to save the guy with the Staff for last. Regardless of what tactic it is you choose to use, the pillars around the room are going to be, well, they're going to be pretty helpful for you. You can use them to block fireballs, and you can use them to get the Bone Wheel Skeletons to maybe hit the pillars instead of you. You can also use them to separate yourself from the herd of skeletons if you decide to do it that way. Either way, it's not a particularly difficult fight, and you'll find that it won't take you too long to beat it. Once you do beat them, you're going to get the Skeleton Lord's soul, as well as 15,000 souls. And then you can continue on to your adventure. Thanks for watching today's Dark Souls 2 boss tutorial. Please subscribe for more Dark Souls 2 and other gaming content. Bye bye